Hey everyone, how's it going today? And welcome back to another third stimulus check unemployment benefits extension update. And welcome back or welcome if you guys are brand new here, consider subscribing to join in. So the great news is, is that as we are now officially closing in to the very end of this week, and as crazy as it is, we're about to finish the second month of this year. Um, but it has actually been officially confirmed from Nancy Pelosi and from a lot of different resources is that the House will now officially be voting on the stimulus package, including the unemployment benefits, the entire thing. They are now planning to officially vote on it tomorrow and if not tomorrow i actually believe that they are planning to possibly maybe even push it um into the weekend and maybe do it saturday but i think the general idea is, is that they're likely going to be voting either tomorrow or saturday and even though obviously you know there's been many cases where they kind of say something and we can only confirm that they're going to do a particular something when they actually do that particular something i think it is at least fair to say is, is that the closer we get to that date the more confident we can feel that they are about to carry their word i think at this time it doesn't seem like there's any particular reason they should you know change course so the great news is that it does look like that they are officially now going to be voting and inside of the house not just in one committee not just a part of the package but the entire package tomorrow or Saturday, if anything, but ideally, basically, the idea is before the end of the week, unless something just very drastically happens at the last, but it's not expected, so that is the really, really great news. Now, in today's update, I really just want to talk a little bit about where we currently stand with the stimulus and the unemployment talks. Um, I want to touch up about the new unemployment numbers because they did recently just come out, um, and then really about what to maybe expect over the next couple of days as they finally take the bill, including the unemployment, into the you know house and then into the Senate to hopefully try to gain approval soon. Really just what to be prepared for. So that being said, we're going to get started right away. But before we begin, make sure you smash the like button in light of a lot of the really great news that has been happening. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification button for future updates on stimulus, unemployment, and other finance topics. Um, if you guys are brand new here, welcome. If you guys haven't seen it, I did make a video yesterday for anyone that's in California that talks a lot about a special Golden State stimulus program that's going to give some of you guys $600 specifically if you are in California. Now, if you guys are in any other state outside of California, I did also make two other videos. I believe the name of the videos, it's physically called Official Bill. I think one's Official Bill Unemployment, the other's Official Bill Stimulus Checks. That really just breaks down the entire bill, such as like who qualifies, how to physically get it, what to prepare for, all of the different details. So we won't talk as much about this. Today is going to be a lot more about the status. So that being said, let's get this video started. Oh, and feel free to comment any questions, thoughts, as always. So I want to start maybe by taking about one to two minutes to share the recent unemployment numbers, but because I know some people are always wondering, but the unemployment numbers recently did come out. And the great news is, is that last week we actually officially saw a decrease in the unemployment numbers. I believe they reported that last week about 730,000 people filed for traditional unemployment. And I think 451,000, I think in 400, I think two, uh, filed for PUA. So we actually had a massive drop. You know, interestingly, I think the week before that it was about 1.3 million. Now we have about 1.2 million people filed for unemployment. And again, I know some people are really interested, some people less so much. But I do, I do think actually it's always important to kind of keep up to date with this number because it always puts in perspective about what the job market really looks like. So you know, if we end up ever having to actually consider going back to work, but it's also related actually because the worse are these numbers, the more likely there's going to be some sense of urgency to um, try to approve it as fast as we possibly can. And it actually also, in a lot of cases, impacts how every state is going to be trying to actually physically deliver and make the transition into unemployment because the less people that get onto unemployment, the more easier it is more likely going to be to actually make that transition in whatever's the smoothest way possible. Since, you know, if the numbers really do increase, they're more likely to want to try to create some system that's hopefully going to be a lot smoother to, you know, limit a lot of the hassles that have been happening across different states. And then the great news is, as most of you guys know, as we just shared is, is that they are going to be now officially voting on the entire bill tomorrow, or if not Saturday. Uh, but the idea is basically before the end of this week, hoping to pass. And I do believe that, I think the speculation and expectation right now is that it is likely going to be approved and passed inside of the House. Now, afterwards, it's gonna be going on to the Senate. Now, when 
when it goes to the Senate, that part, as we kind of mentioned, is going to be a lot more 50-50. It is actually very difficult to kind of gauge and predict right now because I actually really do think that the probability is truly like right in the middle about what's going to potentially happen in the Senate. The lesser good news actually is, is that it was actually recently noted by a lot of Republicans that actually came out to speak, including like Kevin McCarthy, Mitch McConnell. They actually did recently come out to speak, even though they obviously don't have as much power as before, but you know, nonetheless, they can still come out. Um, I think the general gist is, is that basically at this time, none of the Republicans are expected to vote on the next stimulus package. So that is a little bit of a lesser good news. The slightly better news is, is that technically none of the Republicans have to vote on it. However, if none of the Republicans vote on it, then you're going to have to have every single Democrat in support of it. And at this time, as we've mentioned, is that there are actually only two Democrats um, Joe Manchin, Kristen Sinema, that are still sort of like on the edge. Now the brighter news is, is that the Republicans actually interestingly did just recently come out with their own bill. We don't have to talk as much about the bill, although you know maybe we will. Um, but the big thing to really know about that bill is, is that the goal is, is that they're trying to raise the minimum wage, but just to ten dollars per hour. I think right now is about seven dollars. They're trying to raise it to ten, and then the Democrats are trying to raise it to fifteen. I think the great news is, is that since both of them are sort of on the on the you know on the park of considering to try to do something with minimum wage i think maybe the brighter news is is that maybe something related to the minimum wage can potentially go through however right now there is going to be some kind of conflict about the amount and i actually think that the biggest risk is really that if they are not able to agree on the minimum wage part of the stimulus package it could potentially lead to some kind of let's just say setback that they maybe have to edit the package again to maybe something that would satisfy a more more of them to basically get the votes needed to go through. But I do know maybe on slightly brighter news is, is that there's actually a lot of people even outside of Congress right now that are actually trying to push people in Congress to do the stimulus package. I believe they said something like over 150 CEOs have recently come out actually interestingly. I think Walmart actually interestingly just came out and a lot of people and obviously us, you know, obviously the community, the regular people like us um, outside of Congress, I think basically the idea is the almost a very huge percentage of this country is really trying to press and push for the stimulus package right now. So the great news is, is that it's in our favor compared to like the second stimulus package and most of the stories as you guys probably remember about last year um, did end up happening. So the great news is that it definitely is leaning towards our favor, but of course it'll only become official when it becomes official. So that's what I really wanted to share in today's update to kind of give everyone up to speed about what to really prepare for. Um, if you guys enjoyed that, remember to smash the like button, consider subscribing, hitting the bell notification button for future updates on stimulus unemployment, um, especially when we actually learn the results of what hopefully ends up happening. Um, and with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to comment any questions, thoughts, not honestly really anything at all. And hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.